So while on a walk with my little ones, I stumbled on the whorehound plant. So the whorehound plant is a perennial that produces a strong smell, which isn't bad. This herb is also in the mint family. So the easiest way to identify this plant is it has oval leaves that are covered with white woolly hairs and bears small white flowers. You can find whorehound growing naturally in the wild in Africa, Asia, Europe, North America, South America, and other countries. Basically, damn near everywhere. This hardy wild edible plant grows very easily. It tends to do well in dry, well-drained soil, but adapts to most conditions. The whorehound plant will survive with little moisture and it thrives getting blasted by the sun. It also grows along roadsides. So again, basically damn near everywhere. Whorehound is commonly used for lung and throat issues such as bronchitis, colds, coughs, asthma, tuberculosis, whooping cough, congestion, hoarseness, and laryngitis. It dilates the vessels which aids in eliminating phlegm and thinning mucus from the bronchial system. Another use is for stomach disorders such as bloating, constipation, diarrhea, gas, indigestion, and loss of appetite. It also helps in easing inflammation. It's effective in treating disorders relating to the liver and gallbladder. It has external uses such as healing minor cuts and skin inflammation, such as dermatitis, and can be used on yellowed skin from jaundice. It does the important work of calming and soothing the heart, but be mindful of taking too much as it can be counter-effective. Women can also use it to alleviate the intense pain of menstrual cramps, but be mindful if you are pregnant, do not take this because it can cause you to have an abortion.